Hello, this is my first tutorial ever, so bear with me just in case I mess something up or I sound like an idiot. But anyway, this is my tutorial on how to install the RPG Engine Toolkit. When you first download the files, you'll probably get three zip files, the core, the demo, and the full. Also, hopefully the standard operating procedures will be there as well this is just the documentation on everything you need to do everything you would need to do to operate the engine pretty much um, what we'll need here is the core files which are pretty much only the only the files that are changed in the engine by my code as well as the templates that are used for the empty, empty and full templates for the RPG Engine Toolkit. Um, first thing to do is to use your diffing program of choice. I use Beyond Compare because I've been using it for years. If we diff the two engine files, we should see the console changes is pretty much enabling the ability to have binary mission files save that go down to the file system this enables us to be able to have the open file functions open and close file functions and creating path directory paths even in a release format of the engine inside the road mesh is this a a function to pretty much make a public definition for adding a new node for a road mesh that way we can add road meshes via code we have the water fix make sure that the camera cannot collide with the water we have the forest brush editor that I have in resources right now that allows you to do a drop to ground on any force objects Next, we have a GUI modification for the, I might be saying this wrong, the Theora player, video player, just to give an automatic callback for the player when it stops playing videos. It's something that's definitely used by the RPG Engine Toolkit for scene transitions and things like that. I'm pretty much just different in the changes. Um, included with the pack is also a full version of the whole source with the RPG engine diffed in just in case you don't want to go through this diffing process. Inside the vehicles, I've included the ability to hover on top of stack objects as well as a dampening for the the steering so that way when you steer a hovering craft it doesn't continuously spin it automatically dampens the curve down to a to zero for improved steering a camera change to make sure that the camera cannot collide with water when you're swimming otherwise without this end when you get towards the when you get towards the top of the water the camera will either get stuck and then jump to the other side or it'll stay in the water when you exit water. I have a change to the GUI object viewer. Pretty much it's just fix rotation issues inside of it. Um, without these changes pretty much when you open a object inside of the viewer the and you try to rotate around your object it will not be a 
centered rotation according to your object it actually is a little bit in front of the actual object added in a new object type for the my climbing object prototype which definitely needs more work and more co and the rest of the code for to make sure that we don't collide with water with our camera this last change here is for an issue that I found when importing collider files with morph targets it was actually an incorrect calculation causing morph targets to explode the mesh pretty much with any degree of morph applied to your character or any other object that has morph targets this change exactly doesn't exactly work but it's an attempt to able to, to be able to get the real world coordinates of any node in this in your character structure hopefully be used later for climbing dismounting and adjusting certain body parts to our environment or terrain and that should be everything that's diffed over make sure that I didn't miss any orphans make sure no orphans that should have been all of the files I think I might have missed see I see alright that's all the changes for that outside of the engine code we have two new template templates which is pretty much a full imp implemented version of the toolkit and also a empty template for you to work on to make your own creations the full version of the RPG toolkit has miscellaneous implementations for a large variety of RPG types that I've tried to put together to help anyone that's trying to create an RPG or trying to create any kind of game element that would be helpful to the game process. Alright, with this installed, now you're actually ready to use the RPG tool template and my next tutorial I'll help you start with a fresh new project and we can start using it, the toolkit